No. Uh, Coach, first off, uh, making your home debut uh, tonight, uh, I give it against, uh, what is it? Uh, I what it is. Anyway, Pacific Union College, there we go. Um, the team, I think they played last night, so they're still looking for their first win, but thoughts, uh, excitement after the week off to come back and play at home for the first time? It's good to be home, uh, playing in the Lumberjack Arena with our home crowd, game management, confines of our own gymnasium here and, and uh, nets that we're used to uh, playing on here since uh, late August. So uh, good to be home. Great great road trip, great experience in, in New York City, great experience at Cal, two big time environments. Come back and, and split a Division II tournament, felt good about that win. And uh, our practices here last uh, week and a half have been significantly improved. I feel like we we're, were getting day, better day by day. Tonight's game against Pacific Union College uh, is a team that uh, we feel like we can come out and, and create an up-tempo environment, come out and press, get the game going uh, up and down the court, let, let our athleticism uh, give us a chance to win the game. Pacific Union College uh, played Cal State LA last week and was up one point at halftime. It's a significant stat. That's a great achievement for that team. So we're uh, not going to take them lightly. Uh, for you guys, obviously you've had the injuries this season, one of one, with five uh, consecutive home games. You know it's early; the verdict's still out on the, this Jacks team. But for the home fans out there, kind of like, hey, what is this team going to be about? How important are these home matchups, not only for the players, but for the fans out there, saying, you know, hey, seeing what this team is about and being the competitive in league. What a great opportunity with with all these home games slated through November, early December for our fans to come out and, and take a look at all these new faces, many local faces. We have five new kids that are that are local, and uh, I think that's going to bring some good crowds to the Lumberjack Arena. It's going to give us an opportunity to play a lot of players early and see where we stand. Defensively, we need to be able to guard. There's going to be some very good teams coming in here before Christmas time, and we're going to have to shore up our defense and um, hopefully get some turnovers, create an up-tempo situation where we spread the court and let our shooters shoot in transition. I think that'll be a key for this team. Having the, the force, I guess, some of the younger players uh, in action, especially with the home, uh, or the local players, rather, uh, do you feel like uh, there's pressure on them, or do you kind of use them differently just to not put them in those pressure uh, situations? Yeah, there's not one particular player where we're putting all the weight on his shoulders. It's, it's spread amongst the team. Uh, we have a roster of players that can contribute to this team, whether they're local or, or out of area. area. Uh, so we, we feel good about that. I don't think there's anybody that takes it too seriously, uh, although individually we coach them. We coach them every day and, and make sure that they're getting better. Uh, with the 10 days off uh, from that win against Academy of Art, uh, what have you guys been able to do uh, in those days off leading up until tonight? significantly improved our defense and put in a new press. And so we put in the Lumberjack press, it's, that's what we're so proud of, and, and uh, we kind of held that in our back pocket. We didn't use that for our exhibition games in New York or Cal, and we didn't use that in our first tournament down there in San Francisco. Didn't feel like we had enough time within a 14-day period from October 15th until uh, what ended up being the 31st on our first game. So we. We put that in a back pocket. We've uh, we've fine tuned it. And it's ready to be uh, thrown out on the court tonight. So we're looking forward to that. You know, if the press does work, it's obviously a really good thing. But the teams catch on. What are the disadvantages of uh, having the press? Well, the press can be uh, can get you. It can get you going, and it can get you down. Uh, it's a matter of hanging in there and trusting what it does in the long run. If you if you're pressing, playing hard creating turnovers, good things will happen. Also, there's a, a fatigue factor that happens. One of some of our great teams, we press, press, press the first 30 minutes, and the last 10 minutes of the game, the opposition would break down. Because we're playing 10, 11 players deep in our roster, the opposition typically plays seven or eight. Those fatigue factors come into play those last 10 minutes of the college basketball game. Okay. Uh, we're going to ask uh, one last uh, question. Uh, actually, let's wait till later. 